Governorship candidate in Katsina State, Diko Omar Rada, has described the chances of the party's presidential candidate as very high, despite the unfolding events in the country. The APC standard bearer in Katsina was speaking in a special interview with TVC News over the level of preparedness of the party for the weekend elections. TVC News correspondent Abdul Latif Yusuf reports. The last few weeks has been very hectic for politicians who have been going around the state to mobilize support for their parties in all the seats being contested for. Although most of the outings have been relatively peaceful, there have been a few instances of exchange of harsh utterances and little clashes witnessed. Now that it's only a few days to the general elections, the police alongside other stakeholders have decided to take preemptive measures to ensure free and fair elections. This part or argument by candidates of political parties have a vegetable instrument used in shaping the conduct of political parties. Kazona State has been known for orderliness and violent free elections, but stakeholders believe a peaceful accord is a necessary step towards strengthening democracy. Uh, by signing the accord, it means that the candidates have agreed that uh, they will do everything in accordance with the provisions of the law, of the, ele of the electoral law. The contestants all welcome this initiative by the police and promise to abide by the provisions of the electoral laws and the laws of the land. And we are really glad that they are able to organize this peace accord. And this is something that will strengthen our democracy. And this will give us peace and tranquility in our state. At the end of the day, whoever emerges as the gubernatorial candidate of Kasana State or the winner of the gubernatorial election, we should all join hands to support him. The police on its part reassures the public its readiness to abide by the code of neutrality and professionalism during the elections. Abdul Latif Yusuf, TVC News, Kasana.